Mario Dekas here from MG Sports TV. Mount Pleasant 2 1 victors over Arne Garden. Um, sum up what you think about the game today. All right, first of all, I thought it was a really good game. Um, but I think Arnett didn't, didn't necessarily capitalize on their chances. Coming to this game, most of the things that Arnett coming off the fact that they have been the team playing a lot more games coming to this game. So they be a bit sharper, a bit fitter. But what we saw today was a more structured, a more organized Mount Pleasant team. And I, I certainly thought that Mount Pleasant walking away with a two-win victory was was reward, was due reward because based on the fact how the game panned out and things that happened throughout the game, I thought it was definitely a scoreline that, that favored them. Topper in for a couple of days. And I asked a question in a in 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 post-game press conference. <laughs> Didn't get an answer. What do you think changed with the players in terms of their hunger? Mm. They, 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 how they play? They played more um, happiness. They enjoyed the game. Tell us what you think. I thought it's a bit more for familiarity. Um, he realized that um, what Tapa did, Tapa kind of basically went back to most of the players that he know um, with, some of the, with some of the signings, but he went for more, a bit of familiarity. Players that he, players that he knew and players that he knows that were, were played for him last, last year. So getting across his message and his information wouldn't be too difficult, too hard, because those players already know what he wants from them. So even the hunger that we saw on the pitch is just more so the players are trying to redeem in themselves that, you know, we, we messed up in the, in the first game. We have to do something this round. And then now they say, no, we can't allow us to, to go down. They are already, they start off the game at the end of, at the bottom of the table. And certainly they did not want to finish the game at the bottom of the table. So that, that bit of drive, that, that, that persistent was there. And, and, and we saw the end result for that. Where did Arnett Gardens get it wrong though? I thought it was just some small moments. Football is a game of moments. And I thought that when Mount Pleasant had their moments, they capitalized on it. When Arnett Garden had theirs, they didn't. But there was also smaller um, aspects in the game. Um, I thought personally that when he, when he pulled Jaime Thomas, I really thought that Jaime Thomas shouldn't came off, came off the pitch because they were, he was receiving the ball in dangerous um, areas of the pitch, in the half spaces, um, uh, taking the ball quite nicely, turning in the half spaces, actually creating chances for other players as well, looking quite dangerous, progressing the ball in those dangerous areas. Even though he was not shooting in the final third, he was definitely getting the ball into the dangerous zone. When you pull Jaime, you can see that the, the, mid, the, the middle of the park and some aspect of the Anagan team kind of fell apart. He, he, he included more runners and they see a less, less passing and more running game. So the game became stretched. And once the game became stretched, um, the, the team with more quality will prevail. And that was actually more pleasant. They, they have that bit of individual quality in their team. And, that, that, and that, that's that way saw where Kimoni Bailey just take on two defenders and scoring that goal. So you, do you think that Arnegar need to go in the market to get better defenders and um, a prolific striker? Sometimes it's not necessarily better defender. Sometimes it's just the organization of the defense. Um, you can have the, the best set of defense in it, defensive term, but if a team um, overall does not know how to defend, they will look like they, they can't defend. But maybe it's just a, an aspect of um, getting the team to, to work more cohesively. Um, I think maybe that could be the case. Yeah, quality can be a factor as well. Um, I think the coach will assess that to see the areas in which and rewatching the game, maybe one or two players were, um, you can see a little bit of quality was 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 a concern in that era but necessarily I think it's more of a structural thing um if you can just tighten tighten certain areas and allow the team to defend as a unit and on a regular play a more transitional game where the pitch is quite open so when they get catching transition sometimes the, the defenders are far apart and that makes the, the, the defending a bit more complex Topper, you'd say he's a savior <laughs> most definitely the supporters are shouting his name um throughout the game at, at full time they were shouting his name um certainly the, the supporters in Mount Pleasant they really love Tapa they were really disgruntled when Tapa left um you can hear from from from, from their their concerns on the social media previous um uh, multiple social media media platforms but um he's back with them now delivering uh, uh, on his first game and that's what they want so I do believe that they will look at, look, look, look at him as a savior Thank you very much, Mario Dekas, for your insight into the game. Um, see you on the next game, Cavaliers versus Police. All right, bless up. <laughs>